Eastern Navajo chapters of Torreon Ohon Sinon Counselor are located in western New Mexico and are amongst the poorest communities in the entire United States. These distinct communities are spread over a large area of 40 miles and many live well below the poverty line with an average per capita income of around 8,000 a year. This tri-chapter area is a USDA designated food desert as it is an area where residents don't have access to grocery stores. Community members must travel 50 to 60 miles one way to Farmington, Rio Rancho, or Albuquerque to find a supermarket. As a result, residents have restricted access to affordable healthy foods and suffer from disproportionately high rates of obesity and type 2 diabetes. Hi, my name is Sarah Mead and I work for the Rio Puerco Alliance. I have been given the task to fundraise for the Tri-Community Mobile Farmers Market. This project was developed to improve the socioeconomic conditions and the overall health of the Navajo Tri-Chapter area. It is also a project that provides local small-scale farmers, like Grandma Rose, with a platform to sell their produce, ultimately providing fresh fruits and vegetables to around 900 households that otherwise would not have such access. The landscape of the Eastern Navajo Nation is classified as a semi-arid high desert environment that has seen drastic changes in the past 100 years. It has transformed from a region once fertile and covered in grasslands to a territory characterized by overgrazing and high rates of erosion. Life has become harder for local communities and poverty is common. About one quarter of the families living here are without electricity and many have no running water. This land, however, is sacred to the Navajo as it is culturally significant by tradition and elders recognize the value of investing in it. In the past five years, a group of engaged community members has organized under the nonprofit Hospitado and is spearheading the Tri-Community Mobile Farmers Market Project as a means to provide economic opportunity and healthier lives. We wanted to uh, reintroduce what was here as a cultural and um, we want to touch base with other communities. Um, we thought of this, this is a way of, to uh, bring more people involved in. If we show, if we take a farmer's market to their area, they will have some other interest to be part of it. At our school, um, our kids are being served a lot of um, foods that are we hardly eat um, like good fresh vegetables or fresh salads, hardly. So it's, it's a really good idea for this mobile market. We are currently retrofitting a trailer to serve as a mobile farmer's market which will be pulled by a truck and visit each community once a week at their local community centers. During market hours, cooking demonstrations will be held, showing market goers how to cook available healthy produce. 100% of the money raised will go to assisting local farmers to expand and improve their fields, pay the salaries of the two market employees, the driver and the sales associate, pay the salary of our Navajo project coordinator, and purchase a refrigerated storage shed for our inventory. Watson, Grandma Rose, and Tremaine, and all the others need your help to jumpstart the mobile farmers market and their local farms. The Tri-Community Mobile Farmers Market is the next step to addressing food insecurity in this rural food desert, and we believe that with your kind donations, we can successfully aid these communities to improve their lives and the future of their children. On the right side of the screen, donations can be made by clicking the button, and below that are offered gifts for ranging donations. Thank you!